African leaders have been called upon to pursue effective collaborations that would promote good governance and play effective role in global affairs. This comes from the Association of Foreign Relations Prof Professionals of Nigeria uh, during their fifth annual lecture, which is foreseen thriving governments devoid of insecurities through foreign policies that uphold democratic alliance. Our diplomatic correspondent Joy Annie has more details. President of the association, Ambassador Ghani Lawal, said government cannot neglect the rapid advancement of globalization, hence the theme examining the connection between foreign policy goals and democratic governance. We cannot forget in a hurry the role they have played and are still playing in deepening democracy and advocating economic development of the third world, and indeed Africa, South Africa and Nigeria in particular. Their presence here today in their rap age is a salutary testimony to their commitment to the development of Africa and indeed better world for all of us when they should be enjoying their retirement in the comforts of their homes. Chief Emeka Anyoko, former Presidential Advisory Council Chairman and former Secretary General, Commonwealth of Nations, who was also the chairman of the occasion, spoke on the recent military takeover in Niger Republic as it concerns global best practices. What has happened in Niger should be of major concern to us here in Nigeria on a number of grounds. The first is that uh, we thought that we had seen the end of military coup d'etats, the end of unconstitutional change of governments. And so what has happened is uh, a surprise which uh, we should condemn. The elements involved in the destabilization of Niger are not far from Nigeria. Former South African President Sabo Mbeki, presenting his lecture, said the heads of state and government should pay close attention to the decision of the African Union to achieve a democratized African continent, citing recent crises in Niger Republic. It was exactly the Commission on Political Affairs which should have focused on the matter of the democratization of the continent. It is very obvious that integrated with peace and security, the task to take care of political affairs will fade into the background. Also speaking, Royal Father of the Day, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, Muhammadu Saad Abubakar, commended the association and called for more inclusiveness of traditional leaders in governance. We've just started a new government, and I think everyone needs to be on board to move this country to greater heights. We want to assure the government we will do our best. The lecture was held at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Abuja. Joy Annie, ASO Television News.